Welcome to Compline, May 30th, 2022, Monday of the seventh week of Easter. Compline is the office that completes the day. It has been called the bedtime prayer of the church. It opens with a time of silence. The mood for the entire office is one of peace and tranquility. Both speaking and singing are done quietly. You should remain in a comfortable position throughout. The service ends in silence. Be still, aware of God's presence within and around you. No words can match God's power and strength in the quiet. It can take a lot of effort to feel the peace and solitude. Maybe you have never felt it. That's okay. Jesus can be our model when we need to give ourselves permission to stop and surrender to a moment of stillness. O oh God, come to our assistance. O oh Lord, hasten to help us. The Holy One grant us a restful night and peace at the last. Amen. Our night hymn, Come Down, O oh Love Divine. Come down, O oh Love Divine. Seek thou this soul of mine and visit it with thine own adored love wing. O oh, Comforter, draw near, within my heart appear, and kindle with thy holy flame bestowing. O oh, let it freely burn, till earthly passions turn to dust and ashes in its heat consuming. Let resurrection light. Shine in my darkest night and clothe me round the while my path illumine. And so the yearning strong with which the soul will long shall far outpass the power of human death. For none can guess its grace. Till the create a place where in the Holy Spirit make a dwelling. Our confession and assurance. A most holy and beloved, our companion, our guide upon the way, our bright evening star. We repent the wrongs we have done. We have wounded your love. O God, heal us. We stumble in the darkness. Light of the world, transfigure us. We forget that we are your home. Spirit of God, dwell in us. Eternal Spirit, living God, in whom we live and move and have our being, all that we are, have been, and shall be is known to you to the very secrets of our hearts and all that rises to trouble us. Living flame, burn into us. Cleansing wind, blow through us. Fountain of water, well up within us, that we may love and praise in deed and in truth. We are a forgiven people. Thanks be to God. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. 
Psalm 134. Behold now, bless God, all you servants of God, you that stand by night in the house of God. Lift up your hands in the holy place and bless God. God who made heaven and earth bless you from Zion. Glory to the holy and blessed Trinity, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our scripture reading comes from Hebrews chapter 13, verses 20 and 21. The God of peace, who brought again from the dead that great shepherd of the sheep, our Lord Jesus, in the blood of the eternal covenant, make you complete in every good thing, so you might do God's will. As God works in you, what is well pleasing in God's sight through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory unto ages of ages. Amen. Holy Wisdom, Holy Word. Thanks be to God. The Holy One be with you. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Be present, Spirit of God, within us, your dwelling place and home, that here all darkness may be penetrated by your light, all troubles calmed by your peace, all evil redeemed by your love, all pain transformed in your suffering, and all dying glorified in your risen life. Amen. Eternal Spirit, Life Giver, Pain Bearer, Love Maker, Source of all that is and shall be, Father and Mother of us all, Loving God in whom is heaven, the hallowing of your name echoes through the universe. The way of your justice be followed by the peoples of the world. Your heavenly will be done by all created beings. Your common wealth of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come on earth. With the bread we need for today, feed us. In the hurts we absorb from one another, forgive us. In times of temptation and test, strengthen us. From trials too great to endure, spare us. From the grip of all that is evil, free us. For you reign in the glory of the power that is love, now and forever. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Our night hand, God who made the earth and heaven. God who made the earth and heaven, darkness and light, who the day for toil has given, for rest the night. May thine angel guards defend us, slumber sweet, and mercy send us, holy dreams and hopes attend us this live long night. When the constant sun returning unseals our eyes, may we born anew like morning to labor rise. 
Gird us for the test that calls us, let not ease and self enthrall us strong through thee, whatever befall us, O God most wise. In peace we will lie down and sleep, and the Lord alone we safely rest. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. May the divine help remain with us always, and with those who are absent from us. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Canticle of Simeon Lord, you have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to you, O Trinity, most holy and blessed, one God, now and forever. Amen. My brothers and sisters in Christ, may the holy and blessed Trinity guard and bless us. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Peace be with you. Amen.